uh, we are an institution in France uh, where we recruit international students for different schools here in France. So we work with management school, engineering school and fashion school. And today we will focus on the fashion school and uh, the ECSCP uh, is here today with us to tell us more about the school and the fashion industry in France. And uh, Alexandra is here with me and she will introduce herself very quickly. Uh, I just want to uh, show you the agenda for today. So uh, we make a quick presentation of Join a School in France and ECSCP. Then we'll focus on the bachelor program at this school and we'll talk about the career opportunities. And after that, you will have time to answer the, to ask us questions and we'll answer them live. Also, uh, don't worry if you, uh, if you miss, uh, if you miss it, I will send the replay so you have the opportunity to watch it. Uh, so as I said, my name is Faustin and, uh, we, I work with three other people here at Join a School in France and our mission is to uh, recruit students for different master program and bachelor program in different schools in France. So when you apply uh, with Join a School in France, you make one application and then this application is sent to all the school. So we'll make sure uh, that uh, you have the best application so you are uh, selected by at, by at least one school. If you are selected by more than one school, you make the final decision. So you have the, uh, you choose the school where you want to go. If you want more detail, we can talk about it uh, on the phone or by email. I will leave you my personal information and you can send me an email directly so I can, uh, I can give you more information about the program itself. And Alexandra here is here today with us to uh, present uh, us the school. So, hello Alexandra, welcome. Uh, can you uh, tell us uh, what you do at, uh, at ECSCP and also uh, present us the school with some, uh, with some key figures? Hello everyone. Uh... I'm Alexandra and I work at school as a community manager. I manage all the social networks, the Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and also the website. And I'm in charge of the big part of student life. So if you decide to come and join us, uh, you'll be seeing me quite a lot. Uh, some key figures for us is that, well, the most important is that 40% of our students come from abroad. So we care a lot about the international community and nice. uh, yeah it's been around since 1927 so we have quite an experience on that okay uh, maybe we can focus on the bachelor in fashion styling and patterns pattern making can you tell us first uh, what uh, is it exactly and what kind of uh, profile you are looking for Okay, yes, uh, for the bachelor, the, the specificities of, of uh, the one that we are proposing is that it's 50-50. It's 50% creativity, fashion design, and 50% technique, pattern making, draping. So you really get the best of both. And uh, our motto is like the technique, it's at the service of the creativity. So everything you imagine, you're able to do it at the end. That's one of the specificities of, of uh, our bachelor. And that's one of the reasons why recruiters come to our school. Because at the end, um, it's so based to earth, it's so real, like so concrete, that uh, our students are operational right after, after school. Well, we give them a year of internship, but uh, that's one of the specificities of, of our bachelor. Um, uh, the profile that we're looking for, it's someone that um, may not have certain skills already, but that it's a, uh, that it's a, uh, how can I say, that is very interested about fashion, that has shown already um, interest in developing certain skills such as drawing or draping or some graphic design, plastic art, sewing, it can be any of those. 
it's um it's we don't search we don't search for a particular profile we that's what it's interesting because our our um how can I say it? our classes are so different there's so uh, a lot of um um how can I say it's like there's a lot of um different profiles because exactly that we don't have one any anyone with uh, a true passion and skill whether it's drawing sewing or pattern making can um, can get into our school okay uh, how old are they for the bachelor is it 18 or more 25 years old uh, and what is the the age limits uh, our students come directly after high school and uh, it's something around yeah 18 years old uh, the limit there's not a particular limit but uh, we think that around 25 26 it's already a bit late to start your career in fashion mm -hmm. because it takes time to acquire the all of the skills needed so it's a bit late okay and is it uh, only about uh, the clothes or is it also about the accessories the uh, i don't know the bags, the leather goods, or shoes, or is it only uh, a bachelor uh, to learn how to to do the clothes? Uh, it's all of it, actually. Uh, from the second year, we introduce our students to those uh, options that you just said, like uh, we have a um, knitting, like knitwear option, we have a uh, accessory, we have uh, printing as well. Uh, textile printing so and we have as well the technical option which is uh, draping so we we make our students to try them all in second year and in third year they choose one and they specialize on it the main the main um how can i say the main specific um how can i say the main topic the main the major of the bachelor it's still fashion design but they they have this extra um, option they can they can develop later in their career. Nice. Uh, so if we uh, go to the next question, why uh, what what would you say a student should come to France to work in the fashion industry, or how do you see it with your students? What do they do? Do they go back to their country or? How is the fashion industry in France uh, nowadays? Well, it's right now it's the right moment to be in Paris in fashion because there's a lot of support from government. There's a lot of institutions uh, providing a lot of um, help for young designers. And recently, like a week ago, there was a, a um, an event at the uh, Palais de l'Elysée, where the president is, and he gave a speech, like a very, um, like very um, important speech, where he invited everyone wanted to wanted to work in fashion to come to France. Why? Because we're welcoming all of the talent from abroad, and we want them to develop together with us, fashion industry. So it's very important for us. Um, but it's also because there's already so many companies here that you can learn. From them, you can internship in those uh, companies, and not only that. There's a, a lot of forums. There's uh, conferences. There's um, um, trade shows, showrooms. You are at the center of fashion, and everything. There's always happening here or something. So, at some point, you become part of the fashion industry. Nice. Um, I know uh, this is a question we have a lot. It's about the scholarship. Uh, does your school offer a scholarship or can you tell us if there is any financial option uh, for the students? Uh, for the first year students, we do not have um, uh, an option right now. Uh, we we try to, to get uh, from our um, we have a particular group of companies that it's uh, helping us, which is uh, it's called Cercle Saint Roch, and they they help us to give some scholarships to our last year students. Okay. Uh, but uh, let me tell you, starting from 2019, we are launching the new programs with the uh, Institut Français de la Mode, 
and scholarships will be uh, part of the program since first year. Nice. And uh, if uh, I am right, there is a mandatory internship period and uh, for those of you who don't know that, in France all the internships are paid, which is not the case in all countries, but in France uh, when you do an internship you are paid and this will help you cover the costs of your studies. Am I right? Yes, definitely. Good. The, um, <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, there's even for your last, the last year, we offer up to a year of uh, internship uh, convention and uh, we we'll, we have one uh, another internship in second year it's only two months but it's also important nice uh now so we were talking about internship uh but what are the career opportunities after graduating from uh, your fashion school and i think we have a slide that will uh, give us more details about that so uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, these two gentlemen are Yves Saint Laurent and Carla Garfeld and uh, Alexandra, I think they come from your school, is that right? Okay, so can you tell us more about the career opportunities afterwards? Yes, well, um, the statistics uh, for these last uh, past years is that 85 of our graduates are working um, a year after um after they graduate in um like it's approximately 64 percent of them are working at a company and 13 percent uh, are deciding to uh, open their um, their their own brand we recommend first to work at a company to gain more experience and then to launch your own brand so those 13 percent already had some experience and they decided to launch themselves as um, Jean Carta. 60% of our um, of our students are working in, in the luxury houses or with young designers and 20% um, are working in high-end brands. The other are working in different like, other types of brands uh, such as um, like some uh, workshops like some more arty uh, like some more craft craftsmanship um places and uh, some of them decided to work in another sector the nice. the main thing yeah it's quite it's quite nice there <laughs> the, fact, <laughs> the fact that um studying fashion design does not just uh, close like gives you a, a particular path it's quite useful you can do anything and that's my next point uh, 64 percent are working in fashion design so, sorry sorry 74 percent 74 percent are working in fashion design um, 17 are working as a creative pattern uh, color pattern making five percent they are working in, in um, coordination what does this mean means that uh, at a fashion uh, company there needs to be somebody that's making the link between the the studio the the atelier and the commercial board there's somebody that has to have the whole control so that's also an opportunity there's also some students um, that are doing some uh, press there they go to press agencies they're working some of them in marketing communication all of it related with fashion but um it's it's really very um very wide the the yeah. areas where where you could work yeah it's not only about making clothes it's more way more uh, intense than that so uh so thank you for all this information uh now uh i'll tell you how uh, if you are interested in having more information first you can visit our website uh, it's really easy it's joinuscallinference.com um, and also you can email me uh, you'll find our uh, email address at the end of this presentation and uh, so if you want to uh, if you want to apply uh, maybe Alexandra, you can uh, give us the requirements. So it's a program in French, if I am right. So the student needs to to know how to speak French. Yes, it's mandatory. 
do they have uh, French classes or is it a mandatory thing at the beginning? No, we do not offer French classes. Uh, it's, uh, we need already for them to speak French. They could come before and do some, some several months of French, like to improve right. themselves and then apply. Okay, so the, um, the, the second requirement, it's uh, to be less, I guess, than 30 years old. <laughs> I mean, it's, not, it's for the young people, it's a bachelor degree. So even if it's not mandatory, it's uh, highly recommended, right? Definitely. Okay, and last thing, uh, you don't need to have uh, any background in the fashion, uh, in fashion, but it's also uh, highly recommended to be someone creative and to have a big interest in fashion. Yes, we are looking for people that have something to say, even, even though there's still a lot of skills to acquire, that's what we are here for. But the most important is that you have already the initiative, that you have already the interest, and that you're willing to take on the load because it's not an easy, it's not an easy bachelor. Yeah, <laughs> no, but it, yeah, it is good because uh, it it asks a lot of uh, creativity and motivation, so it needs to be a little bit high level. <laughs> um, so if you think that you have the profile, uh, again, you can uh, go to joinuscoreanfriends.com and you just uh, apply online, fill up the form and download your uh, resume and motivation letter. It's always a plus if you have a portfolio as well because it will uh, uh, say way more than words can can say so uh, it's also uh, highly recommended to uh, download your portfolio and uh, if you need to reach us um, here are uh, our Facebook, Facebook Twitter and uh, LinkedIn accounts so if you want to follow us and message us we'll be very happy to answer your question um, I see we do not have any question in the chat today but again, if you missed uh, this webinar and if you uh, really want more info, uh, feel free uh, to, uh, to email us or to, to, to give us a call. Uh, we'll be glad to, to give you as much as information as we can. So thank you for uh, looking at us, uh, watching us, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you soon in France, maybe. Bye-bye. Bye, thank you.